Let's look at some cuts we can do with a potato. These are just some simple cuts that could be applied to other vegetables as well. But a potato is a, is a good place to practice cuts and, and also often we're just cutting a potato. Um, so here I have a peeled potato. Uh, one thing uh, with the potato is you can peel them and keep them in cold water and that will keep them nice and fresh and prevent them from browning while you're working with them. <clears throat> so to start, um, let's go ahead and cut the potato in half. Now a potato will have some wobble to it. It's, it's round and uneven. So one, one thing that we can do to uh, stabilize it a bit is to cut a little bit of a, a flat to make a flat surface, cut a little bit off. And so there we go. Now we have a stable sur uh, stable potato to work with. And you, kind of, you want to have a, a stable vegetable and to prevent it moving around and it's safer that way. Okay, so from here, we can do a few things. Let's let's go ahead and do a baton, which is like a large French fry. So I'm going to go ahead and cut across. And then we'll cut across again. And you can do a lot of fun things with, with this shape. You could cook these and build a stack like this. And also this is a good way to get into some large dice. You stack a, um, a few, you, could, you don't even need to stack. You can just put a few across. And then we are using our knife technique where you want to pinch between your finger and thumb, pinch the blade at the balance point, place the tip of your knife onto the cutting board, and with a rocking motion, cut across your baton, and you have some large dice here. So this is large dice, and dice is just that, it's the shape of a, a dice. We can go ahead and take this other half of the potato, and I'm going to cut it a little bit thinner. And here we can stack two pieces up and then slice lengthwise. And here we have some julienne. Another thing we, we often uh, need a potato for is uh, just simply sliced. So once again, I want to create that flat surface. So I'm taking just a small sliver off and that stabilizes the potato. And then we can slice right across the potato and you can control the thickness by moving a knife in either direction. So here is a thick slice and I started off with a thinner slice. But the potato you can see is quite stable. Using my knuckles to keep that blade where I want it. And doing a smooth slicing motion down. And there's some different ways to get into a potato or other vegetables.